hey good day guys you welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer all right this is another video on the series slab reinforcement detailing 101 all right so and today i'll be showing to you how to draw a slab section in case you've seen something like this in whatever drawing or document around this is exactly what we call the section of a slab then why do we need a section necessarily we need a section to blow up or to show the critical details that we might not see um, at the first sight around any section of a slab all right so and then it helps you to see what the detailer or the engineer whatever case may be has done during the detailed process on the plan all right, so this is a sectional view of which I'll be showing you how to produce this and then your drawing will be complete as far as the slab detailing is concerned. All right, so we basically have been engaging, we've been engaging slab detailing in the past two videos or more. All right, so and um, we've been able to get all to, through to this point, but then your slab detail isn't complete until you have a section. All right. So you may decide to cut through whatever place around your slab, all right, at your discretion, being the detailer or the engineer, whatever it is, you may choose to cut around whatever section. Now, for example, on this slab detail you're seeing here, I decided to cut through this section, and that's why you're seeing the section um, symbol at that place, section 1-1. All right, so let's repeat almost the same thing on this place selecting a particular place to cut our section now we may want to select um, somewhere here let's select this all right then we would cut the section i should just show to you the simple way to cut the section anyway if you're new to my channel you want to do well by liking this video subscribing to this channel and sharing this video across our platform so that we can get better together with structural engineering all right so seeing this as it is now we are cutting across this plane where we have placed our section one one but what you want to do first is to draw out a section of what that place looks like before you apply your before you place your reinforcement in that order all right so we want to do that shortly we know that the distance between the beam and the other one is four meters so what you want to do is to first have an horizontal line and the thickness of your slab is 150 all right we know that the thickness of your slab is 150 so you have set 150 from there and then the thickness of your beam or the depth of your beam rather is 450 obviously we know that from our discussion in the previous um, videos so we have our four meter grid lines all right from which i'm going to establish my beams just find a way to recreate whatever it is that you have on your plan at the section so so we have this beam on this side we have the beam on this side also so we want to trim off the ones we may not need all right Want to trim off everything we may not need all right so we have this and we have this done all right we also have this then this all right then i want to discontinue my slab on this side All right, so this exactly is the slab section without the reinforcement now, okay? So you may want to create a grid line just like I've done here. All right, just create a grid line and ensure that you represent whatever information you have on the plan um, at the section also. So you have B, this is gonna be B in capital, then the other will, will be C, all right? So we have this. What next is to begin to put through your reinforcement as you have on the plan? Now you see that what you have on this 
panel for the bottom reinforcement all right is the same thing that spans all through for me just like i showed in the previous um, tutorial all right that this this reinforcement works all through all right it works all through and that's why i'm trying to show you know i'm trying to show you how it works all through so you have this reinforcement then you now this is what you want to do you want to place it in such a way that you still maintain the cover and all of that you know the cover to slab is 20 all right so you just want to maintain that cover all right so that is it this is the cover now and it sits rightly as it will be on the side now on this side we have the top reinforcement that's the support reinforcement spanning all through you want to copy that also then you maintain the cover and that's 20 like we did previously all right so you want to just call the names so that you won't be confused um, as you go on so this reinforcement is what we call y12 11 we call the y12 11 so let's just put it that way y12 11 all right so and the top reinforcement this we call it y12 12 all right y12 12 so sorry i'm just trying to use this up here all right for a call out y12 12. all right so we're done with the main reinforcement so what about the distribution reinforcement we have this reinforcement as the bottom distribution so this one in this case is the bottom distribution or the b2 like i made mention in the previous videos so that this is b2 or bottom distribution all right so this would be like this you're seeing here all right so you want to bring it or you create your donut yourself or, or whatever form a circle then you create an arch inside of it so that's not a, that's not supposed to be a big deal all right so you have such then the spacing is at 200 so you want to create that also 200 intervals all right yes until you have enough but this seems to be too big for me all right so what do i do i try to scale it down all right i try to scale it down i try to scale it down all right and yes so i have this now and then i can copy it down all right so i have this so instead of doing that over and again i just want to copy this down here it has to form a continuity of my distribution but all right this is not supposed to reach in between the beam because of the reinforcement that will pass through the beam so i want to keep it just this way all right so we've done that on this part then um, this reinforcement is with the bar mark 14 so you keep this at 14 all right keep it at 14 all right this seems to be big seems to be big you know it, so i want to scale it to something smaller all right so i have 14 here then you have this 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 and this all right so we're cool with that what about the top distribution reinforcement so we have this reinforcement this one in particular spanning all through the top sub uh, the support reinforcement so that will be our top reinforcement spanning from here at the at 300 center to center um, spacing so 
you have this 300 600 oh then you have 900 okay so and that's with the bar mark of um 303 so you keep that at 03 03 all right to this so we have the same thing on the other side just bring it down here all right so it forms all the information we need across that place all right so that's basically how to show your slab um, information in a section all right so put the dimensions and all of these things that is required to form a complete um, drawing all right let's just have this all right and uh, okay this is not a correct dimension it's supposed to be four meters like we rightly did there all right so this is it this is too long all right and so that forms your complete section so whatever section title you give it to it so this is it 